In this video, I will discuss the consequences of benzodiazepine use in pregnancy, breastfeeding, and adolescence. In pregnancy, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, as ACOG's guidelines, recommends that benzodiazepines be avoided or prescribed sparingly as treatment for perinatal anxiety. Under FDA's old pregnancy risk classification system, benzodiazepines were a category D drug due to concerns for development of cleft lip and palate, as well as urogenital and neurological malformations. However, recent studies have not shown that there's an increased risk of these complications. The recommendation remains that patients should try to taper off benzodiazepines in pregnancy, and if tolerated, more rapid tapers over a period of a month or so may be employed. There's some low-strength evidence that there could be an increased risk of ectopic pregnancy and spontaneous abortion in patients that are on these medications during the first trimester. If possible, benzodiazepine use should be avoided during the first trimester. If a patient is already on a benzodiazepine when they become pregnant, it's important to discuss and weigh with them the benefits versus the risk of continuing to use these medications. If a patient is already pregnant and a benzodiazepine is needed, consider an agent with a shorter half-life while still using the medication sparingly and intermittently. If a benzodiazepine is needed and there's no contraindication, consider switching to an antidepressant to help address ongoing anxiety as these may be safer in pregnancy. Of note, the one antidepressant that is known to be unsafe in pregnancy is paroxetine, so this should be avoided. It is recommended that use is avoided or benzodiazepines are tapered off during the third trimester due to risk of neonatal sedation, decreased muscle tone, respiratory depression, increased risk of NICU admission, and benzodiazepine withdrawal symptoms in the newborn. With regards to breastfeeding and benzodiazepine use, it's important that we are aware that benzodiazepines can cross into breast milk. The long-term effects of benzodiazepines on infants that are breastfed is unknown. We do know that babies can experience side effects from exposure to benzodiazepines, including sedation, respiratory depression, difficulty breastfeeding, and hypotonia or low muscle tone, sometimes referred to as floppy baby syndrome. Again, similar to the recommendations with pregnancy, if it's necessary that a patient is on these medications during breastfeeding, use an agent with a shorter half-life. In adolescence, it is also recommended that the use of benzodiazepines is largely avoided and, if necessary, used sparingly. Adolescence, as we know, is a time of rapid brain growth and remodeling, especially in the frontal lobe. As a result of this rapid brain growth, we know that adolescents are developing increased cognitive control and decision-making capacities while also starting to have a decrease in their impulsivity and risk-taking. Our goal is to work with adolescents to increase their coping skills and distress tolerance through practice and support and not to have them become reliant on turning to a medication to address distress and anxiety and insomnia. Due to the impulsivity and risk-taking of adolescents, they are more likely to misuse benzodiazepines than the general adult population. Overall, adolescents are at increased risk for developing substance use disorders due to their developing brains. And when exposed to substances in adolescence, this may further increase their risk of developing a use disorder in adulthood. To review the key points for this video, when possible, avoid use of benzodiazepines in pregnancy, encourage pregnant patients to work on tapering off by third trimester to limit the risk of adverse effects on the infant. Be aware that benzodiazepines do pass into the breast milk and pose a risk to the infant due to their difficulty metabolizing them. Overall, in pregnancy, recommended that the 
shorter half-life benzodiazepines are used sparingly if required. And finally, recommended that benzodiazepines use is largely avoided and if necessary, used in limited fashion in adolescents due to the increased risk of misuse in this population.